Enough. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a mummy. And a shovel. Let's be archaeologists and uncover ancient treasures. Yeah, and maybe we can find that mummy's daddy. <laughs> go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate ran across the desert to the ancient pyramid of King Cat. <gasps> It sure is hot. Not for them. Come on, let's go. We're archaeologists, remember? Wow, look at all this stuff. Look, Kit, I'm an ancient Egyptian. But can you walk like one? Do 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 <laughs> Kittens, hurry, I've made the discovery of a lifetime. We're right behind you. Here it is, the ancient statue of King Cat. That's a statue? Well, it will be as soon as you put it all together. Then it will look like this. Ah, oh, that'll be easy. We're really good at puzzles. Perfect, because we have to present it tonight at the museum. Good luck. And as soon as you're done, you can go swimming. Thanks! Ready, Kate? Here's a leg. Glue it to the base. Are you sure this goes here? It's good enough. Let's just finish real quick so we can go swimming. Okay. Here's another piece. Is this an ear or the nose? Just make it the nose. You see? That's good enough. Kid and Kate worked as quickly as they could, and soon they were all finished. Well, sort of. Done! Now, let's go swimming. It looks funny. It's good enough. Just cover it up. But there's still pieces left. Kate, we said we'd put it together, and we put it together, right? That means it's time for swimming. Come on! Aww. Hey, Kit, wait for me! The kitten spent the rest of the day swimming with the ducks until it was time for them to go and present the statue at the museum party. It is with great honor that we present King Cat. What? Maybe we should have put the tail over here. That was a priceless treasure! <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, no. We ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow. What happened? We were supposed to put this ancient statue together, but we did it all wrong. Why? Was it too hard? No, but I was in a rush to finish. How come? Because once we were done, we could go swimming. So I just did everything really fast because I thought it would be good enough. And was it good enough? No, it's ruined. Hey, I understand. Good enough isn't really good enough if you're not trying your best. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll try our best and make sure we do it right. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their archaeological adventure all over again. But this time... Take your time, Kate. We'll get it. They didn't rush. I got it! It was upside down! And tried their best until they were done. And when the director uncovered the statue, the kittens didn't just feel good, they felt great. Great job, kittens! How about that swim? Last one in is a rotten egg! Look out! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh. <laughs> Baking Buddies What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. 
Look, Kit aprons. And baking hats. Let's be bakers. Yeah, we can bake a cake for the Squirrel Princess's birthday. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out for the royal kitchen. They were so excited to make the Squirrel Princess the best birthday cake she'd ever had. All right, let's get started. Now, where is that royal recipe book? <laughs> Thanks, royal helpers. Come on, Kate. Let's pick out a yummy cake to bake. Hmm. Banana bark cake. Nah, too chewy. Twigberry upside down cake. Eh, uh, too crunchy. How about this one? Lemon duck cake. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I got it. Amazing acorn layer cake. The princess will love that. So what do we do? The directions are right here. First, we need to gather the ingredients. Well, that was easy. Okay, put three cups of flour in a bowl. Got it. One, two, three. Perfect. Next, add one cup of milk. I'll do it. I love milk. I love milk, too. Now, two cups of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Right. Two cups of salt. No, I said two teaspoons of salt. That's way too much. Oops. Don't worry. We'll just add more sugar. Perfect. Next, two cups of nuts. Nuts? Yuck. Let's use fish instead. Great idea. Okay, royal helpers. Bake for 10 minutes. Kid and Kate could hardly wait till their creation was ready. Yay! It's ready! Woohoo! I bet the princess has never seen a cake like ours before. <laughs> but the cake didn't come out quite the way they expected. That isn't a cake, it's a rock. Mm, but maybe it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we ruined the princess's birthday. And then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We tried to bake this cake for the princess, but it came out horribly. Strange, I don't see any fish here in this recipe. Well, that was our idea. Your idea? But if you wanted to make this cake, why didn't you follow the directions? Because we were having so much fun just doing it our own way. But it doesn't seem like you're having fun now. Of course not. We've ruined the cake. And the princess's birthday. Now I understand. It might not always be as much fun just to do what the directions say. But you'll be a whole lot happier when things come out the way you wanted them to. Now that sounds like a recipe for success. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Kate, let's try again. Yeah, but this time let's do it just like the recipe says. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their baking adventure all over again. But this time... One cup of milk. And no more! They followed the directions exactly. Just two teaspoons of salt. And when the cake was done... <laughs> One, two, three, four. The Royal Princess. <gasps> is that my cake? Yes, it is. We hope you like it, Your Highness. Like it? I love it. This is going to be my best birthday party ever. I hope you'll come. Really? We'd love to. And that was the beginning of a sweet friendship. <laughs> Safari so bad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, safari hats. And cameras. Let's go on safari. We can take the first pictures ever of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Yeah. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get into the jungle and take pictures of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Which way's the jungle, sir? That way. Do you have all your supplies? 
Supplies? Of course. You'll need bug cream for the swamp, hiking boots for the thorny thistles, and a flashlight in case it gets dark. They're over there. Thanks. Do you see the bug cream? No. Do you see the boots? No. Let's just go. Yeah, we got our cameras. We don't need that other stuff. Kid and Kate ran into the jungle swamp. Now where was that sneaky sneaker monkey? <laughs> there she is! Good thing we didn't wait. Come on, after her! But suddenly, Kid and Kate ran into something they hadn't prepared for. Ow! Nipsy flies! Ouch! Stop it! Ow! 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 If we only had that bug cream! <laughs> Where did she go? Ow! Ooh. She went that way! Come on! Ow! Kid and Kate finally got away from the Nipsey flies. There she is! <laughs> Quick, after her! But then they ran into another problem that they hadn't prepared for. Ow! Thorny thistles! Ow! 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 This hurts! <laughs> Oh, she's getting away! Oh, why didn't we bring those hiking boots? She's gone. We're never gonna get her picture. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hello, explorers. <laughs> what wrong? We wanted to get a picture of the sneaky sneaker monkey, but she got away. Why she get away? First the Nipsey flies kept biting us. Then these thorny thistles hurt our feet. You kitties in jungle, you need bug cream and good shoes. We know, but it was taking so long to get them. And we didn't want to miss our chance to take your picture. Well, did you get picture? We never got a chance. Wait, I get it. If you take the time to get ready before you leave, you'll be ready to do what you want once you get there. Thanks, Dad. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try it again. Yeah, but this time we won't leave until we're ready. <laughs> now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their safari adventure all over again. But this time... I found the bug cream. And here are the boots. And I've got the flashlights. Now we're ready. Not quite. Put on your bug cream. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Kid and Kate headed into the swamp. But this time, when the Nipsey flies tried to nip... Not on, Nipsey flies. This time, we're ready for you. <laughs> Ow! Bug cream! <laughs> there she is! Come on! And when the thistles got thorny... Faster, Kate! No problem with these boots on. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was that monkey? Look, her sneaker prints. She went in there. But it's so dark inside. No problem. We have flashlights. Oh, yeah. Flashlights on. Hey, why are you following me? We just want to take your picture. Can we? Sure. Here's one for you. Wow, I never saw my picture before. Can I take some of you? Sure. sure. And together with their new friend, Kit and Kate have a picture perfect day. <laughs> Ho down, slow down. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a guitar and a violin. Let's play music for a big barn dance. Yeah, a big country hoedown. Go, go kitty, kitty kitty, let's, let's go! Kid and Kate ran with their instruments to a great big ranch. It looked like just the perfect place for their concert. Morning, strangers. What can I do for you? We'd like to use your barn for a hoedown tonight. We'll play the music. Why, sure. Hey, and there's paper and paint in there so you can make a banner to let everyone in town know about it. Great idea. Thanks, Thanks ma'am. Come on, Kit. Let's go and make that sign. I'm sure everyone's going to come to the hood on when they see this sign. 
Kid and Kate got started on their big banner. They were so excited about their concert, they didn't notice some unexpected visitors. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you today, Missy? I'd say she's hungry. Hey, Shoo, don't eat our paintbrushes. We need them to paint our banner. <laughs> Hey, stop that! Those are our instruments. We need them for the concert. <laughs> I guess he's a music lover. Lunch time! Come and get it! Oh boy, I'm hungry! Me too! Kid and Kate ran inside and sat down for lunch. The food was so delicious that they didn't notice what was happening right outside. Thanks for lunch, ma'am. Come on, Kate. We've got work to do. Oh, no. Our sign is ruined. And the paints and brushes are missing, too. It must have been that hungry cow. Oh, well. We'll just play the concert without the sign. Kate, the violin is missing. The mouse. He took it underground. And look. The cow probably stepped on it. There goes our hotel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why so sad, little cowpokes? We can't play our big hoedown tonight. What happened? We were working on our sign and the lunch bell rang. So we ran inside. But while we were eating, it rained and our sign got ruined. Well, at least you still got your instruments. No, we don't. Some animals ruined them. There must have been something you could have done to stop your stuff from getting ruined. No, there wasn't. You can't stop the rain. Or those pesky animals. Hey, I get it. Maybe you can't stop the weather or the animals, but you can put your things away where they'll be safe. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, let's not leave our things where they can get rained on. Or stepped on. Or chewed up. Or stolen. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate grabbed their instruments and started their hoedown adventure all over again. But this time when the lunch bell rang... Lunch time! Come and get it! We'll be right there. Just as soon as we put away our things, where they'll be. Look, Kate, it's raining outside. Good thing we put everything away. As soon as the rain stopped, Kid and Kate finished their banner and hung it up for the whole town to see. And when evening came round, those kittens put on a hoedown that just wouldn't slow down. <laughs> A couple of quacks. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, stethoscopes. And doctor coats. Let's be doctors. Yeah, we'll be fun doctors that always keep our patients happy. Go, go kitty kitties, let's, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran to the hospital, ready to take care of their first patients. Doctors, these ducks are sick. And if we don't get them better right away, they won't be able to dance in the ballet tonight. What should we do? It's all here on the paper, and everything you need is there on the table. You can count, count on us. us. Okay, ducks, order number one. It's time for some warm algae soup. <laughs> we won't eat it. Of course not. You and I hate when Mom gives us yucky medicine. Yeah, that's no fun. Let's give him something that tastes better. Like candy. <coughs> the Fun Doctors! Order number two. Keep their heads covered. <coughs> Too itchy, huh? Then let's just cover their heads with these. Isn't that 
have much more fun than those itchy hats. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! All right now, order number three. Stay in bed. <laughs> I know you're not tired, but you need to rest. <laughs> He's right. They do need to practice their dance. Well, they just have to stay in bed, so I guess it's okay if they practice there. <laughs> the Fun Doctors! <laughs> huh? Good heavens! These ducks aren't getting better. They've gotten worse. Much worse. I'll call the theater and tell them they have to cancel tonight's show. The ducks sure aren't having fun now. Me neither. Me neither. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, doctors? We were supposed to help the ducks get better so they could dance in the ballet tonight. But they didn't get better, and now they have to miss it. Well, how did you treat them? We tried to make things as fun as we could for them. Because what the head doctor wanted us to do wasn't fun at all. Well, did they have fun? Of course. They got to eat candy and wear funny hats and jump up and down on the bed. And did having fun help them get better? No, it just made them sicker. Hey, I understand. Trying to get well when you're sick might not be fun. But if you do the right things, you'll have a whole lot more fun when you're all better. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kit. But this time, let's not be fun doctors. Let's just be good doctors. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their doctor adventure all over again, but this time they made the ducks do just what the doctor ordered. I know it's yucky, but it'll help you get better. <coughs> now that's a smart duck. <coughs> now let's get these warm hats on. And stay under those covers, guys. You need your rest. <coughs> the good doctor! Well, how are our little feathered friends? Excellent work, doctors. A full recovery, and just in time. And by being good doctors, Kit and Kate helped the ducks get better in time for their Duck Lake debut. Now this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Drop everything. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, flight jackets. Let's work on a cargo plane. Yeah, and we can deliver things all over the world. Go, go kitty, kitties, 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 let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and reported to work at the airport. Ready for duty, sir. Kittens, I need you to sort out these supplies, pack them into these crates, and load them onto the plane. We'll deliver them later today. Yes, sir! The tools go in the yellow crate. The soccer equipment goes in the blue crate. And the fishing supplies go in the red crate. Yes, sir! And don't be dawdling, because you never know when we'll get that call to take off. Yes, sir! Kid and Kate got right to work, sorting the cargo into the different boxes. This saw goes here in the yellow box with the tools. And this fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes, hey, Kate, catch! Kit and Kate found so many fun things to do that pretty soon they forgot all about getting those crates packed up. Hello? Time for takeoff. Take your places on the plane. Yes, sir. What do we do, Kit? We barely packed anything. Just throw everything into the crates. But... Hurry! The plane took off, and soon Kit and Kate were high in the sky. Attention, kittens! We're coming up on the drop sites. Drop the cargo box that matches the color light. Yes, yes sir. sir! It's yellow, the tool crate. It's 
It's red. The fishing crate. But when the yellow crate landed, Builder Duck couldn't find what he needed to build his house. And when the blue crate landed, Soccer Duck couldn't find anything he needed for his game that day. And when the red crate landed, Fisherman Duck couldn't find anything to go fishing with. Whew. Looks like we did it, Kate. Kittens, I just got radio calls from the drop sites. The supplies were all mixed up, and now none of the ducks can do what they needed to do. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Wow, we ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We packed all the crates wrong, and now none of the ducks got what they needed. How come you packed the crates wrong? Was it too complicated? No, it was easy. So there wasn't enough time, is that it? There was plenty of time, but we used it up playing games. Well, did you have fun playing? Yeah, we had fun, but now the ducks are having a terrible time. Oh, I understand. When you have a job to do, you need to finish it before you start playing. Otherwise, you might run out of time. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we won't play around until after we finish our job. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their airport adventure all over again. But this time... The saw goes here in the yellow box. This fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes here in the blue box. Kit and Kate finished packing everything into the crates without playing around. And this time when they dropped them, the ducks got exactly the supplies they needed. Congratulations, kittens, on a job well done. And now it's time for something else. Yes, sir? It's time to play. Yes, sir! Yay! Kate, catch! <laughs> a royal fit. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, a measuring tape. And toy shears. Let's be tailors. Yeah, and make clothes fit for a king. The king of Buglandia. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. go. Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the royal palace of Buglandia. Your Highness, the royal tailors. Oh, hi. Tomorrow, I shall be handing the throne to my son, Prince Bugster. And so, royal tailors, I command that you sew a fabulous suit for your future king. Mom, can I just wear a t-shirt? Everything you need is here. Pearl buttons, real pearls, obviously, gold thread, 24 carat, and most precious of all, this silk took a thousand silkworms five years to weave. But be careful, there's only just enough. Then let's get started. We'll need to measure your highness. Your highness. <laughs> that tickles. How tall? Nine. Nine, check. Waist? Seven. Seven, check. How many legs? One, two, three. Uh, two. Gesundheit. Where was I? Oh, that's right. Three, four, five. Five legs. Five legs? Are you sure? Yeah, I counted. Okay, five, check. That's everything, Your Highness. Good, we shall return this evening. Great, let's get to work. Oh, it's magnificent! Try it on, Bun Bun. How are the lapels? Okay. And the shoulders? On my shoulders. And the legs? Bun Bun. 
How are the legs? I can't tell. I can't find the sixth one. The sixth? You only made five pant legs? Don't you know how to count? What are we supposed to do with this? God, take them to the royal dungeon. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What happened? The queen hated the suit we made for the princess coronation. How come? Didn't it fit? Well, it fit most of him. You see, we only made five legs instead of six. How did that happen? I don't know. We measured everything. And how many times did you measure everything? Once. Then how did you know if your measurements were right? Oh, I understand. When you measure everything more than once, you can check if you measured everything right the first time. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time we'll make sure to check everything before we start making anything. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their tailoring adventure all over again, but this time they double-checked their measurements to make sure they were right. Five legs. Are you sure? Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait! One, two, three, four, five, six. No, Kate, it's six. Six. Check. And now, with all the measurements checked and checked again, Kit and Kate cut the royal cloth and made a suit truly fit for a king. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> we did it, we did it, we did it, hooray! Just desserts. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate. A watering can and straw hats. We can be dessert farmers. Yeah. And grow cookies. Sweet. Go, go Kitty Kitties, kitties let's, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the general store. Hi. Do you sell seeds? We want to grow some desserts. Let me guess, you're hoping to win that blue ribbon today for best dessert in the county fair? I guess we are now. Well, I've got blueberry flambe trees, zesty cupcake bushes, lemon tart plants. How about some good old chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, we're old school. I'll make the holes and you drop the seeds. Then I'll cover and you water. Right. You poke, I'll plop, you squish, I'll splash. Cookies! Great! Let's collect them. I'll carry the basket and you put them in. Sure! Let's go! We're gonna win that blue ribbon for sure! Yeah! Dropped one. I'd hate to see it go to waste. Hey, no fair. I want to taste one too. Mmm. We got the winning cookies. We got the winning. Oh. What's wrong, Kit? Tummy oh. ache. I'll be right back. Are you all right, Kit? Oh, oh my stomach. Hurry up, Kit! I gotta get in there! What happened to us, Kate? It must be the cookies we ate! You're right. We better dump them. Oh, it's so much for winning that contest. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kittens? It seems you're not feeling well. Terrible is more like it. Oh. We grew chocolate chip cookies, but they made our tummies hurt. Why? Did you eat too many of them? No, I only ate one. Me too. Ugh. Strange. I've never heard of anyone getting a stomach ache from just one cookie. Are you sure you didn't eat something else? No. Hey, what is that on your paws? Dirt. 
I had to dig the holes. Oh, some of the dirt from my paws got on the cookie I ate, and that's what made me sick. But my hands weren't dirty. Wait, but your cookie fell on the ground, remember? Oh, right. So that's how dirt got into my tummy. Now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wash your hands before you eat. And never eat food that fell on the ground. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. And this time, we'll make sure no dirt gets into our tummies. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their farming adventure all over again. But this time, they were careful not to eat anything that could be dirty and make them sick. Better throw that cookie away, Kit. We don't want anyone to get sick from it. Good idea. And let's go wash our hands so we can give our cookies a taste. They're all clean. Now it's your turn, Kit. Thanks, Kate. Now all the dirt is gone. Mm, delicious! And this year's winner for best dessert goes to Kit and Kate! I sure hope the judge washed his hands. Oh, oh, excuse me. I guess he did it. Dressed too ill. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit! Suitcases! Let's go on an ocean cruise! And see the wonders of the world! Sounds like smooth sailing to me! Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and climbed aboard the SS Kitty. They could hardly wait to find out where they were going first. Welcome aboard, passengers. Our first stop, the Great Minx in the Hotsy Totsy Desert. Today's weather, sunny and very hot. Kit, come on! Let's get dressed! Pretty awesome, huh? It's gonna be hot, Kit! Don't you want to wear shorts and a t-shirt? No! That's what everyone wears. Okay. Smile! Oh, I'm boiling! Wasn't that fun? No. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Eister Islands. Today's weather, snowy and very cold. Wow! I can't believe it! Let's get changed! Kit, it's gonna be really cold. Don't you want to wear a coat? No way. I'll look much cooler like this. Okay. Jeez! Freeze! Wow, what a great picture! Yeah, great. Uh, uh, achoo! Our next stop, the crying waterfalls of Wettenstein. Today's weather, rain, followed by showers and a downpour. I know what to wear. Mm, me too. Achoo. Are you sure? It's going to be very rainy. But I want to look nice. Have you ever seen so much water? Huh? Kit, cover your nose, please. Achoo. I don't feel so good. Me neither. <gasps> you caught a bad cold, and you've given it to your sister. Our next stop, Chiliville. Let's get ready, Kate. Achoo. You two are not going anywhere. You'll have to stay in bed until the end of the cruise. The end of the cruise? Yeah, I'm afraid so. No! <laughs> not fair. <coughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. You two look awful. What happened? Kit got us both sick. He did? How? First, he wanted to wear his parka in the desert, and he got totally hot. Then, I told him to wear something warm. But I looked so much better in my shorts. And I told him to wear his raincoat to the waterfalls. But I didn't want to, and I got soaked and sick. Well... Anyone would get sick dressing like that. Oh, now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you'll have to wear the right clothes for the weather. Thanks!
Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. Let's try again. But this time, I promise I'll dress right. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, Kit picked out clothes that were right for the weather. When it was going to be hot, Kit wore shorts. And when the captain said it was going to be cold, he wore a nice warm coat. And when the forecast called for rain, Kit looked happy as could be in his raincoat. Attention passengers, our next stop, the Rainbow Forest of Chileville. The weather today is cool and breezy. Well, sounds like sweater weather to me. And Kit learned that when you pick the right clothes, you can have a great time no matter what the weather.